breaking right now at 1130. Birmingham Southern College says that it will stay open following a meeting with the Board of Trustees. This news breaking within the past 15 minutes or so. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is live in Birmingham with new information just coming in. Valerie. Sarah and Sony, as that announcement came, several students have been leaving campus shouting out of their vehicles in excitement. Now this all comes as Birmingham Southern College's Board of Trustees voted unanimously Wednesday evening to make that decision to keep the college open. You can hear some of that screaming right there. Students are excited. Now the meeting with this announcement was at 11 a.m. It was closed to just students, faculty and staff, but in a news release that we received shortly after, we learned that the college has secured nearly $46 million in pledges from private donors towards a goal of a $200 million in endowment. Now that $200 million endowment will support 20% of BSE's annual operating budget, providing the stability needed for the long term. We had several reports starting back in mid-December. The college was seeking $30 million in state funds. Now, according to that letter sent to the Jefferson County delegation, the college had been operating in financial distress for over a decade and without support. It would have to have ceased operations after May of 2023. Alabama State Senator Jabo Wagner, an alum of this college, was in support of the financial assistance to the college along with others. But as we've had in previous reports, Governor Kay Ivey and several people in the community were not in support of taxpayer dollars being used to bail out a private college. Now, I did reach out to the city of Birmingham and they said at this time they're not making any comments about this announcement that was released today. We're not allowed on campus today or tomorrow and there will be no interviews from anyone at the college. However, in a statement from the college, leaders said they've been working hard to secure funding, but acknowledges a lot of work lies ahead. Live in Birmingham, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.